All right, in this video, I'm gonna share with you how a Ukrainian citizen or Ukrainian born person can get their Ukrainian passport uh, if you've actually moved abroad and get yourself a second passport like I have. So I'm gonna tell you my story and, how, and I'm gonna tell you how you can do it yourself. So first things first, and this applies to anybody who was born in Ukraine. This is not for somebody who is trying to acquire Ukrainian citizenship by marriage or by um, being naturalized or or anything like that, or by investment. No, this is for people who were born in Ukraine but moved abroad and uh, either never got around to getting their own passport, a Ukrainian one, or they got or had one and it expired and they want to renew one after having a second passport issued to them you know, from the country they currently live in. So I'm going to tell you my story and then how I did it and how you can do it as well. So um, I moved to the United States when I was about eight and a half years old. Um, I got naturalized and got my U.S. passport, uh, you know, about 10 years ago, 12 years ago. Um, and I never had my own passport. I was going through my mother's. So I got naturalized naturally to the U.S., um, but I never had my own Ukrainian one. Now, very recently, I started looking into getting my second passport so I can have some more travel privileges and ultimately just to have the flexibility, flexibility of having two passports. Um, I started doing research and I was like, wow, this should be pretty easy. Uh, but then it said that, hey, Ukraine doesn't recognize dual citizenships and you're going to have to renounce your, your, um, your, your, you know, your new passport that you had you know, to the country you moved to. So I was like, okay, well, this is, uh, this is not good, but let me find out myself. So I started doing research and then I ended up visiting the Ukraine embassy in, in, you know, in my area, which is Washington, D.C., and I inquired, what do I need to do and how does it work and will I need to renounce my U.S. citizenship? Because I thought I would. And she said this. She said, you can get your Ukrainian passport, but we will view you just as a Ukrainian citizen, not as a dual citizen of another country. So I said, that's no problem. No big deal. As long as I don't have to give this up. So she said, here's what I want you to bring for me so we can apply for your new passport. She said, bring <clears throat> uh, your copy of your birth certificate from Ukraine, um, bring uh, your, your mother's passport with your name in there. And of course, uh, you know, my, I was in my, my mom's passport. That's how I came to the US. And uh, bring a money order uh, for $130 made out to the Ukraine embassy. So I said, okay, no big, no big deal, no problem, I can do it. So I got all those things. I got the money order. I brought my, uh, my birth certificate. I brought my mom's passport. You know, and this is actually a copy. And um, she said, oh, great. Okay. Thanks for all the information. Um, I now want to know, you know, where was your last address before you moved abroad? So I had a hard time finding this information, but I ultimately gave it to her. And it was not exact because it's been like 17 years since we've been there. So I gave her the information and everything. She fingerprinted me, got my photo. And she said, okay, cool. Well, um, I'm going to submit all this information. And you should get an answer back within three to five months. In the meantime, you can go online and check uh, you know, your, your status. and your, You can track everything to see what the progress is and when you can go ahead and pick up your Ukrainian passport. You gave me this right here with that six-digit number. Uh, you know, the, I guess the uh, lookup code you know, that I, she gave me, as well as the website to visit, which was passport.mfa.gov.ua, right? So everything was updated pretty straightforward for the first month. <clears throat> it eventually said that, hey, it arrived in Ukraine and is being processed. Great, okay. But then it stopped updating for me for the next three months. And I was like, oh, come on. It can't be this delayed. So eventually after waiting about five months, mid-February, so I applied in mid-September-ish in 2019, Mid-February 2020, I, went, I decided to go ahead and inquire about what's going on. I'm not getting updates. I called the embassy from here, you know, and they said they keep on transferring me over to a consulate, and it goes straight to voicemail. So I'm not getting anything resolved. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and make this trip over there and see what's my status. So I ex expected to go there, and just they were going to tell me, oh, it's maybe there's a hiccup, or now it's being processed, so come back in a little bit. You know, in a little bit, it will be ready. So I got to the embassy. And she said, oh, um, you never gave me the passport of your mother, which I did. So I said, she's like, do you have it with you? I'm like, yeah, I do. So I gave her my passport, my mom's passport. 
And uh, she's like, okay, uh, your passport's here. So just wait 30 minutes. And I was like, holy crap, thank you. So I waited 30 minutes and they finally gave me my Ukrainian passport. And I'm holding two passports legally. Um, this will also apply to you if you've already had like Ukrainian passport, but it expired. Uh, I think the whole, pass, you know, requiring your mother's passport isn't going to be necessary because you already have your own document saying you are a citizen of Ukraine. So um, if you want to go and get your Ukrainian passport and travel to Ukraine without any kind of limits, this, those are the things you got to do. It's very straightforward. I guess 130 bucks might be pricey to some people. It is to me. But once you pay that, you have a fresh passport with about 30, 32 pages to put stamps in there. And that's pretty much it. That is uh, everything you got to do. Now, like I said earlier, this only applies to people who are born, natural born citizens of Ukraine and not to people who are trying to um, naturalize to Ukraine or, um, or any of that. I think if you try to do that, they're going to ask you to renounce your citizenship for whatever country you're at at the moment. So um, that's it. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time.